This is everything I ate during my 20 mile run workout. I'm about to take you through everything I ate while conquering this workout from pre-run snacks to mid-run fuel and post-run recovery meals. You're about to get an insider's look at my nutrition strategy. Get ready for some surprises, some wins, and maybe a few lessons learned along the way. Let's dig in. This is pretty much my breakfast I have every day. One cup of oatmeal with frozen fruit and four eggs. The oatmeal gives me energy because it has the carbohydrates I need and that gives you energy. And I always love getting some protein in the morning too. So that's where the eggs come in. I broke the yolk to my egg, but oh well. Eggs are eggs. First of all, before my 20 mile run, I do have one hour on the bike. So it's gonna be a bike and then a run. I'm gonna use raw endurance for the run because this sits very well in my stomach and just goo Roctane for my bike ride. Now two scoops of this is 60 grams of carbs. I'm gonna try to aim at 100 grams of carbs per hour. So I'm gonna take three scoops here. So this will get me at 90 grams of carbs and I will take a gel during my bike. So one, two scoops and three scoops and since it's raining it's cloudy it's in like 40 degree fahrenheit i'm not going to pay too much attention on the sodium intake if it's hot humid 80 degrees that's when i might be thinking oh i should probably get around 2000 milligrams of sodium per hour so i don't cramp up but since it's still winter here um, no need to worry about sodium too much and uh, so for the bike this bottle will have 90 grams of carbs I have a new bike set up in the garage, so let's go get biking before we start the run. <laughs> so I currently got this new garage so I can store some furniture and decided to make a pain cave out of it. So. It does not have Wi-Fi, so I don't know how I'm gonna set up Zwift. Maybe I gotta use my mobile data. But this is the first time I'm biking in this garage. It's pretty crowded, but I should be able to get it done. Whoa. starting to rain outside. That was actually pretty, pretty fun. First time outside my small apartment studio in the garage. So something different. I did finish one bottle. This had 90 grams of carbs, one cis gel. So this is 22 grams of carbs, 112 grams of carbohydrates taken. This is around 22 fluid ounces. I drank a little bit of this, which is water. So took in probably 26 ounces of fluid. Felt pretty good, just steady aerobic on the bike. And now I just gotta get ready for the 20 mile run. This is the fun part. Let me close this. Back to the house before I go on the run. For the run, I'm gonna use raw. So probably gonna put two scoops in each bottle. One scoop is 100 calories and 25 grams of carbohydrate. My coach actually came up with this. So uh, if you want, you can go to NVDM Coaching and support her. I am not sponsored by this brand. I just don't have any nutrition sponsors this year yet. My team's currently making some, but I don't have any right now. So two scoops in each bottle will get me 200 calories in each bottle. 
I'll probably drink one bottle per hour. It's not gonna be too hot. I'll get a little bit more in here. So, like I said, sodium and liquid doesn't really matter too much right now because it's not hot, it's not humid. So, for 20 miles, I should be done within two and a half hours. You're gonna have two of this bottle, water in here, beta fuel, 40 grams of carbs in each of this. 160 calories in each, and then two regular cyst gels, 22 grams of carbs in each of these pouches, 90 calories in each of these. So this is my nutrition plan. So this is my goal nutrition. We'll see how I feel. The goal is to take all of this in, in my 20 mile run. And we'll see how much energy, how my stomach is feeling afterward. I'll report back. And 20 miles in the rain. I do not want to do 20 miles on the treadmill, so I guess I just gotta tough it out and do it outside. I like going to Tualatin High School because I can put my stuff down, I have my bottles, my camera, so, and then just go around the track. There's a two mile trail around the school, gravel trail, so it's pretty convenient. I like running here a lot. I've done my long runs here, so I just, just gotta start now. Just gotta start. I swear yesterday I saw it was not going to rain at all, but now there's light rain, so. And it was going to be sunny in the afternoon, but the weather changes. You can't trust it. The cherry blossoms are nice here. miles done 655 minute per mile pace average I did have a upset stomach and I had to go to the bathroom right after the four mile effort I took in everything within two hours and then the last two miles I just cooled down that was a little too much I got an upset stomach again during the two mile cool down but I learned a lot about what I can take in a 20 mile run and see and adjust what I can do for the Ironman and the actual race. So 25 grams of protein in this shake right after the workout to start the recovery process. And I do have another bike, 45 minutes, I'm gonna get on it again and do an easy spin. So today was a good test day. I did learn a lot. And I also told my coach about it. She said I might not have drank enough fluid so I guess the fluids are needed to absorb all that nutrition that I'm taking in. I'm no sports scientist or nutritionist, and nutrition is considered the fourth sport of triathlon, especially when it comes to long course distance, where you're out there for four, five, six, seven, eight plus hours. I do believe that the more you can consume during the race, uh, food-wise, the more energy you'll have. So I just gotta continue testing it, and maybe just training my stomach, my gut, to handle all these nutrition. Overall, pretty excited with the day, and I hope you guys can take some principles that I took here on my workout day that you can apply to your training. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.